we've invited them to a conversation about uh, home and belonging and asked them to make line of cut of buildings that they associate with word home. And now that didn't have to be an actual house they grew up in or house they live in. That could be any building whatsoever that invoked that type of feeling, that type of emotion. The animation was uh, uh, presented in the form of a projection mapping which was site-specific for this actual space that we are in now, in the Southside Community Centre. It's absolutely amazing, it's stunning to see what the community can do when they all come together and when there's sort of someone putting putting it together, right? So it's not chaotic, you can see some amazing connections between what people are, were thinking, doing, experiencing, um, yeah, and some really recurring themes of maybe being a bit nostalgic, uh, but also getting to feel at home here. I took mainly the part of these workshops because jak to powiedzieć socjalnych, żeby się trochę socjalizować, żeby spotkać ludzi, którzy się interesują sztuką, żeby spotkać Martę, żeby spotkać Roberta, zobaczyć co robią, ponieważ no, bez krygowania się żadnego, ja po prostu nie mam talentu plastycznego żadnego i jakby to, co Marta zrobiła z naszymi pracami, e, to jest czysta magia. Uh, and we feel that the final project, uh, which is animation uh, with with sound and um, including interviews with with our participants, um, had amazing emotional response as well from Polish community and from other people who who have similar complex relationship with with home and belonging. Najbardziej mi się podobało właściwie to, że mogłem robić coś, czego jeszcze nie robiłem, było kreatywne i to właściwie na końcu jakiś kawałek sztuki z tego można powiedzieć wyszedł. Wyryłem w linoleum kawałek mojego miasta i właśnie to też będzie na, na filmie, z czego się cieszę. Myślę, że trochę wspaniało do myślenia, gdzie jest mój dom, gdzie, do czego należę, co mi się podobało w tym miejscu, gdzie się urodziłem, wychowałem. I work kind of relating to the film that we watched upstairs, for example, the collage pieces. Now I understand why it was a collage, because it kind of tied in with that. And it was cool to see things in Polish that I could recognize, like words and, you know, different, different uh, references. It was lovely to, first of all, hear people talk about what home means to them, because you could just hear how emotionally connected to what they were saying they were combined with the different styles of art and videography used and like the collage pieces and uh, editing and the animation, that was great, I loved it. I found it absolutely fantastic that it was a participatory project, so the process in making this art I found very sort of uplifting and actually the colors applied from um, the textures uh, from the areas where the walks were. See, uh, I'm an urban planner, so uh, the fact that it touches on the themes of uh, urban and the buildings and the notions of uh, home and identity as an immigrant as well, um, I found it very personal and uh, really interesting, intriguing and uh, it was a great opportunity for a little bit of reflection uh, this evening. I was very surprised, because when I was here the last time, the space looked completely different. It amazed me the organization and the whole event was very well done. I will always be a Polish person. I spotykając swoich rodaków, czując i, i słysząc, jak oni mają podobne uczucia, jest to takie bardzo mi bliskie i jest to ważne. To było takie bardzo fajne doświadczenie, gdzie, gdzie można wyrazić siebie gdzieś, pomyśleć, co rzeczywiście jest dla mnie domem, też zobaczyć, jak to się zmieniało na przestrzeni czasu. To było bardzo, bardzo ciekawe doświadczenie, też takie, myślę, osobiste do jakiegoś przewartościowania, przemyślenia, czym jest ten 
dom w końcu. Ale można było zrobić coś zupełnie innego, co, czego, czego, czego się nie robiło, spróbować jakieś techniki. First of like looking at art slightly differently, so trying to find different textures and different ways to, to enjoy color and texture and trying to see the beauty in that and in the world that surrounds us. And on the other hand with a lino cut, it's, it's just something that I did not expect to do in my life before. So when I first started, I went like, oh, it's definitely going to be a mess and I'm going to cut my fingers off. I think on one hand it was a good way for all of us to come together as a Polish community. I think the other thing it really made me realize that now I think of Edinburgh as my home. Uh, because when I see questions about home, this is what I think of. And when I think about Poland, I think about it as Poland, as a different country that I used to live in, a country that I used to know. It's really important uh, because we not, none of us are in home because we're immigrants. So forming like a family of people from abroad together, forming a community in a, in a, in a city of which is strange to all of us, but it's our home at the same time, it's important because it's like creating bonding, so it's a, I think that's it's a really nice uh, approach for it. Najlepsza z tego wszystkiego była uh, animacja przez Roberta Montyka zrobioną. Uh, pokazała polskość, uh, zwłaszcza w momencie, kiedy um, można było zobaczyć te drzwi, które nie były do końca uh, zasłonięte i pomalowane, to jednak się wkleiły w całą rzeczywistość. Tak samo jak chyba Polacy się wkleją w rzeczywistość edyburską. Każdy z nas przyjechał tutaj z jakichś różnych innych powodów i tworzenie jakiejkolwiek mini społeczności polskiej jest na tyle ważne, że Polacy potrafią się w magiczny sposób łączyć z innymi ludźmi. I am uh, very sort of positively surprised and grateful to Art27 uh, for creating a space like this in the very first two weeks of me arriving to Edinburgh um, because actually in all the 11 years I've been to London I've not been to a sort of Polish space um, and it's been the first opportunity opportunity in so many years to sort of just come and enjoy being surrounded by my own culture so that was amazing that was really that really moved me and I was really uh, moved by that. I think it was really interesting to think about all these ideas of home and it's so different for different people and something that I can connect with as being someone that lives not in my country of origin and that it's kind of a tricky concept to pin down and I think that kind of came through and was really interesting to think about from different people's perspective. I think it's so important to preserve culture for the next generation and to keep it alive as well that people should be able to have a connection to their homeland and their original culture even in a new place and to take up space and be present however they want to be. There are certain people that don't have any other place to go to if they want to find out more and have opportunity to learn and connect with their culture or their parents' culture just because they don't have the opportunity available to them. So it's amazing to have a place like this to go to and just create those connections and then feel uh, inspired to stay kind of in contact and keep learning about where you're from and why that's important and maybe share that with others you care about too. After running this project we are we're hoping that the next one will bring even more people and we'll, we'll be able to reach people that normally don't um, allow themselves to be re reached. <laughs> I think it's important for the community to come together and to have this uh, spark, uh, to have shared experiences and to see that they're not alone and what they're experiencing. I think it's also fantastic to put it together to display uh, so that we can share